Hi ladies, so the video that I have for you today is on this look right here. I decided to get Halloween started early this year and get a lot of videos out for you this year because I remember I only got two out last year so I wanted to get some really creative ones out there and share them with you so you guys can start getting some ideas for Halloween. Um, so this one is on this look right here. Um, I call this one the sexy cat. It is a lot of black, a lot of eyeliner, and it takes a lot of patience. So if you want it to come out really well, then please be patient with it. Um, but I really, really like how this came out, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. So if you'd like to get this sexy cat look, then please keep watching. So as always, I'm going to start with a primer. This primer is the NYX Pore Filler. This is going to fill in all my pores and give me a smooth finish to my face before my foundation. And the foundation I'm using is Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation in Tan Honey. I'm using a Real Techniques Dome Shape Brush to blend this all in. And as you can already notice, this color is just slightly a little darker than my face. And I kind of want to go for that for this look because it is a cat. Um, I'm going to then move on to my eyebrows. And the two products I'm using are the Anastasia Brow Pencil in Brunette and the NYX Jumbo or the NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium 2. And I'm just going to go through the brows really fast. Um, I'm just going to define them a little more than I normally do and darken them up a little more than I normally do. If you guys wanted an updated eyebrow routine because I did change my products just a little bit, then just comment below and I'll be sure to get one up for you. But then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion Mascara in Brunette or Brown and I'm just going to kind of run that through my eyebrows to keep them in place and darken them up a little bit. And then the NYX's Wonder Pencil is probably the greatest invention in the entire world. And I'm just going to use this to kind of define my brows a little bit more and kind of cover up any stray hairs or fix any mistakes that I might have made. Once I'm finished with brows, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyes and as always I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm just going to blend this all over my eyelid and under my eyelid to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. Then I'm going to use my Loric Pro Palette. I will be using this palette a lot in this tutorial. I'm going to take Taupe and I'm going to take Sable and I'm going to blend those into the crease of my eye with a fat pencil brush. I'm going to start out by blending taupe into the crease and then I'm going to take sable and blend that into the crease as well. And I'm not going to blend these out too, too much because I kind of want them my crease to be very, very defined. Then moving on to the best part of this tutorial is the eyeliner. The eyeliner I'll be using throughout the entire tutorial or most of the tutorial is a L'Oreal eyeliner um, in the blackest black. And I'm going to be using a very, very small brush. So I'm going to start out by lining my eyes as a cat eye like I would normally do with most um, makeup tutorials. But I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker than normal and a little bit more elongated than normal. And then I'm going to move to the under part of my eye and just line that very lightly. And then the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to kind of give it a little wing on the inner corner and then kind of blend it out just a little bit as you see I'm doing right there and be very very patient with that it takes a while going to espresso which is a dark brown color I'm just going to blend this into the eyeliner underneath my eye and I'm also going to be taking it and blending it in the inner inner corner of my eye as well to darken up the eyes and make them look a little more almond shaped and a little more cat like And the brush that I use for this one is a very, very fluffy eyeliner or very, very fluffy kind of like an eyeliner brush. And then I'm going to go in with that pencil brush and blend it out just a little bit more. Then I'm going to take the color white and I'm just going to highlight a bunch of areas around my eyes that I want to highlight and ex or extend or you know what I mean, just highlight them. So I'm taking that white and I'm putting that near the inner corner of my eye, right where that I put that eyeliner. And then I'm going to be taking that white and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. 
and I'm also going to be taking that white and I'm going to be highlighting right in the center of my eye and I'm just going to kind of blend it out by patting it with my finger. Once I've highlighted those areas around my eyes, I'm going to be taking the dome shape brush that I use for my foundation and kind of putting it into the white and I'm going to highlight kind of my whisker area um, where my whiskers would be if I was a cat. I'm also going to highlight the middle of my nose as well. And then to contour, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a kind of fluffy but a little dome-shaped brush. So I'm just contouring like I normally would. I will put that my contour video and highlight video down below if you wanted to see it. Um, and then I'm just darkening up my contour with the brown sable shadow. And I want my contour to be extra, extra intense for this video. We are not human. We are a cat. Rare. Then going back to the eyeliner, I'm going to kind of make a kind of like a little heart shaped, kind of like a fat heart shaped, as you can see, I'm kind of making right there um, on my nose. Um, I decided not to cover my entire nose and just do the bottom half of my nose. I just like the way that it looked. So I'm kind of making that little half heart shaped, as you can see. And then to fill it in, I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, and I just did this because it was a lot easier than using the eyeliner constantly. So I'm just going to fill that in using the Skinny Skinny Liner Brush. And then once I'm finished filling that in, I'm going to fill in the bottom and kind of bring it to the bottom. And then instead of putting whiskers on this look, I wanted to, it to be a little more sexy and elegant. So I decided to just do these little dots that kind of imitate where the whiskers would be. So instead of doing those big black whiskers, I just did the dots. Then I'm going to extend the nose part down to the mouth. And just kind of draw a line going into my cupid's bow. Once I've done that, I'm going to kind of just fill in right underneath my nose just a little bit to make sure that it's all black and perfect. And then I'm going to go in with my contour once again. I believe I'm using the color taupe in this. And I'm just going to smile and kind of contour out where my little nostril area would be if I was a cat. So to do that, I'm just smiling, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more white. Then for the lips, instead of making the entire lip black, I decided to only make the top lip black. So I'm taking that skinny eyeliner brush again, and I'm just going to outline the top of my lip, and then I'm going to fill it in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Like I said before, it's so much easier to fill in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil because the Jumbo Eye Pencil is a lot softer and more paint-like than the eyeliner. And if you were wondering the reason why I decided to use eyeliner and the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil instead of using paint, it's because it stays on a lot, lot longer. Then for eyelashes, these are Sephora eyelashes called Mink, and I'm obsessed with them. They are amazing. They're so big, and they just remind me of a cat. So I decided to put those on with the Duo Glue. Then with the NYX Wonder Pencil in light this time, I'm going to place this in my waterline, and this is going to make my eyes appear a lot bigger. Then really quick, I'm just going to put on some mascara on my top and bottom lashes as well, just to mix everything together. For blush, you can skip this step if you want to. I just wanted to add a little bit of blush into this look. Um, the blush I'm using is called Desert Rose, and this is a MAC blush. So I'm just going to be placing just a little bit of this blush kind of towards the my hairline. Then I'm going to take this really cool product from Urban Decay, and this is called Honey. It is a sparkable, lickable body powder, and I'm just going to re-highlight all the parts of my face and kind of make myself 
a sparkly cat. Um, but I love this stuff. It's so much fun to play with. Um, and I just want to be a sparkly cat. So I'm just going to add a bunch of sparkles on all the areas where you would normally highlight. And that is it for the face part of this cat tutorial. And here we go on to the body part. So to make all of these little cheetah looking catish spots, um, I'm just going to be making C's and little O's. Um, and then I'm going to be contouring my, um, what is it called? The bones in my chest or whatever. <laughs> just to contour it a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to be going back to those C's and those O's and I'm going to be making them a lot bigger on my neck and my chest and my shoulders. And then as I go up the face, I'm going to make them smaller. So here I am just making all these little C's and all these little O's. And then inside of all these little C's and O's, after I'm finished with all of them, I'm going to contour around them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gold eyeshadow. And the gold eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is the color gold from the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm going to be taking a small pencil brush and just kind of randomly putting the gold in between the C's and the O's. And then once I'm all finished with these spots, I am going to go back to that Sparkable Lickable Body Powder that I have and just kind of put that all around the spots as well. And once you are finished with all that glitter and all those spots, you are all finished with the cat look. Thank you for so much for watching and I will see all of you in my next tutorial and if you have any and absolutely any requests at all please leave them down below and I can't wait to see you in my next video thanks so much for watching guys bye Mwah.